Hello everyone, I'm James Wu from Dinstar. <clears throat> Today I will share with you about the, some advanced training for configure our uh, analog gateway and uh, maybe it's uh, advanced training for the expert or advanced users. If you want to use our analog gateway with the third party servers or want to do some uh, management service, okay. And uh, let's start now. <clears throat> Here, we, if you access the uh, analog gateway, the GUI, there is a management menu, okay? And uh, under the management me menu, there are, we list out all the service or management you want to configure the, uh, some parameter, want to connect to the third party service. For example, the TRO69 it's very popular, still used now. And you want to use the SMP, you want to provisioning, you want to maybe the set up the CPMP. We can do that. Okay. Let's uh, start and uh, I will introduce it one by one. And the uh, first time, if you want to use the TR069, uh, sometimes, you know, some uh, network management, network gateway, want to server, want to control, want to manage the analog device, you have to enable the uh, this support, okay? And uh, fill in the URL, username, password, and uh, so on, and uh, uh, timing, and so on. It, it will send uh, all the information to the uh, network gateway. And uh, of course, if you want to support the SMP, we also support kind of the uh, versions, so you can select any version you want to support. And uh, fill in the address, fill in the source, fill in the uh, groups, and so configure the parameters and so on. So it's very useful also. And uh, sometimes, you know, you want to store all the uh, system logs in terms like media logs or maybe the system logs or some CDR report and so you want to install the system log to the third party server so maybe you create the third party server to install the purposely for installing installing the old logs so you can do that you just enable the option here and the enter the UN server IP address support and you want to waste level the uh, I mean the log you want to select or you want to push out so you can just select here <coughs> and uh, of course you want to also can can, can set the, some uh, system server um, uh, other logs so can we do that then all the system log will push to the third party servers. <clears throat> Sometimes you want to provisioning your analog gateway uh, for deployment or maybe the mass deployment. When you can maybe you have uh, 100 analog gateway, you want to configure that, you want to manage that, that how to do that. You just uh, set up the uh, provisioning server and uh, Fill in address here. We are just filling the address for the, the server address and IP and domain and so on. So the our uh, provisioning form will be in, get from the server and the control. You can control the analog gateway here. Cloud server. If you need the cloud server, you want to uh, manage the or connect to your analog gateway. You can do that. You just fill in the address, port and domain. If you want to control the user priority or some uh, roles for the user, maybe access your systems, you, you just uh, end the user to do that. It's quite easy. For maybe for certain purpose, you want to end maybe the some third party user just uh, want to view your GUI, cannot touch the configuration or cannot change your configuration. You just uh, set the Give the name and set the uh, username, password, and uh, set the, some priority. Then the user can log in to view only view the system. Okay, and uh, here we got the remote server. And remote server in time life, you want to maybe put party or some use remote server support. You can add the username, user URL on the port. You want to just. Uh, Get some API, maybe push the bot, uh, data to that.
<clears throat> also, you want to maybe push your maybe record CDR record other record to the third party server. You can enable that and uh, select the uh, port number and uh, set the uh, data to that. Of course, we uh, our analog gateway also support the radius authentication. If you need some certain 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 requirement, maybe a certain uh, policy rule you want the uh, customer want to use the radius server to authentication authenticate the uh, maybe the calls or users and so on. So you can do that, and uh, you just uh, build your radius server and our analog gateway. And connect to your radio server by the uh, port and URL and so uh, username password. That's all. Our analog gateway also support action URL. Action URL means like uh, you maybe have uh, some third party software or maybe the application or call center solution or IPBBX. You want to uh, get some uh, analog gateway data from the device or maybe you want to integrate with your applications maybe to want to maybe display to your GUI or database then can do that and uh, here it's just you just then uh, and the, the, the action URLs and select the, the parameter you want to push to and then that's all here we got the some example here you just send the request get request this is the url link for example i want to just post my mac address and uh, to the to the application servers and then you do just put the mac address and so then the uh, analog gateway the mac address will push to the http server or third party server application servers so it's quite easy to integrate with your uh, application or PBX. NMS, sometimes you know you want to get the NMS support, you just enable that. And NMS is offered by Dinstar, okay? It's a network management server. You can control the, your uh, analog device or configure that or maybe debug your servers. And uh, our analog gateway also support the PNP plug uh, plugin uh, service. So you just uh, enable the option here, and the uh, analog gateway will the broadcast the message to the server address. It is default by SIP. Okay, and uh, just subscribe message if any maybe the PBS or SIP server received such message they will give you a reply and we will <clears throat> automatically set up the PNP. So this is uh, uh, our today training for the analog gateway and, uh, and just uh, to start the topic about uh, management and a lot of the we talk about a lot of the option and do want to connect to the uh, PBS or maybe third party management or some service servers if you have uh, any questions, please uh, contact us or may please refer to our user menu. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.